Hello, I'm Erin Halverson with Rag Rugs by Erin, and today I'm going to be teaching you a, a technique for adding the whole ball of sheet yarn, in this case it's denim yarn, to the rug. Um, we live in Central Florida, we've got a thunderstorm going if you happen to hear that. Um, but we're going to show you how to attach the whole ball at one time without undoing it. But before we get started, um, this video, is a, I just did it on this denim rug and I talked about the techniques that I used and the colors and that kind of stuff. So it's the video that was just published before this. Um, and you can see that and goes into detail about that. But uh, you want to maybe follow me on Facebook, Rag Rugs by Erin. And also if you go to my website, uh, www.ragrugsbyerin.com, um, I have my videos recently got uploaded there. I've been working on this, trying to figure it out, and now they're there organized in playlists. They're all still free to you. It's just YouTube does not let me organize. They are organized on YouTube the best that I can with the tools that they allow me, but it's still a little confusing and it seems a little bit cluttered. So um, on my website, you can go there and under the tutorial section, you can view, most of my videos are there, and you can click on the playlist. You don't order anything. You don't have to put it into your cart. You don't even have to sign up for my website. Um, you just go to it, go into the description, click into the description, and there's a blue. In blue, you can click on the direct link, mm -hmm. um, and that direct link will send you right to YouTube, and you'll get to see everything just like you would have before. You can still go to YouTube. There's no problem there as well if you like using that technique. However, um, it is quite a bit easier and some people struggle to find everything on YouTube. So um, I'm thinking that if you go to my website, it would make it easier for you. I'm hoping so. That's my true intention is to teach people about rag rugs and um, the educational part of it. So let's get to what we're actually going to be teaching. And uh, let me show you. This is a two-ply rug. And so I've got two colors. I'm going to ignore this one. But we're going to go ahead and attach this ball of... Um, denim yarn to the rug and I'm going to do it leaving it like this and not pulling it all apart like we thought we had to in the past. Now some of you may already know this technique, have already figured this out and awesome for you, but um, uh, my friend Rita out in Mississippi actually is the one who taught me how to do it and um, I go out there and I'm going the third time to teach her. I met her through YouTube. She was one of my viewers and invited me to come out there and teach. So. Um, this is something she taught me and I try to share as much as I can with the things that I learn. So uh, Mr. Cameraman, if you come in here and we can actually show you. Normally when we're adding sheet yarn with the no-sew method, and I show you that on my sheet yarn um, playlist, several videos on that, we make a little snip and we end up attaching it with another snip here and we feed it through. But you can't fit that through that hole. So what you need to do if you want to add the whole roll is you're going to fold it up bigger, a lot more. I'm going to try to kind of stay on that line if I can. And I'm going to make this slit a lot bigger. Okay, so you see, got a nice big slit. So then I'm going to do the same for the sheet yarn, or denim yarn in this case, that I'm going to be adding. I'm going to fold it up. and I'm going to make a nice long slit okay then I'm going to line the slits up it's just kind of you get the idea in general so they're kind of together they're not even the same size but that doesn't really matter we just need it big enough so you're gonna take the one that's attached to the rug it doesn't matter which direction I get people now if you're really really picky you know you may want to keep it the same way I'm not Okay, they just twist around anyways. So the one that's attached to the rug, you're gonna hold in your hand. You're gonna take the one that you're attaching the ball with, the end of it, okay? And you're gonna lay it on top of that slit. So, and you have them go in the same direction. That's something that when I'm teaching a class, some people wanna do it like this. And that's not what you wanna do. You wanna have it in one continual, like that, laying it on top. And see how it's continuous? That's, that's the trick, keeping it continuous. Then you're going to take the, other, the ball and you're going to feed it through both of these holes. Okay? And then you're just going to start pulling it. This is a giant 
slit compared to the way you do it with sheet yarn. The same technique. Now look at that. Yes, you have these slits, but when you make the rug, it's done several times through here, and you can't see. So that's how you do it. Make those slits nice and big. Use the same technique that you've been using with the no sew sheet yarn that I teach you in another video and put the whole ball through. And then you can actually make your balls ahead of time. I had stopped doing that because it was really kind of an aggravation just to undo them. So uh, follow me on Facebook, like, subscribe, go to my website. Thank you. We'll see you next time.